Hey guys, Adrian here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone uh, iPad Touch 3G, iPhone 4. I believe 3GS has some issues, but it should still apply for all the models. Uh, on the 4.1 firmware, again, uh, whenever you're watching this, you know, whatever date it is, this is for the 4.1 firmware. Uh, I'm not sure if this works for the 4.1, I'm not, you know, positive if this exact program works, but I'm pretty sure uh, it works for 4.1. I mean, obviously, I've been, that's the device I've used it on, or the firmware I'm using it on. So, if you're like me on 4.0, uh, you just upgraded to 4.1. As of recent, your jailbroken apps may not work. Uh, your jailbroken settings are obviously going to work, as you see here. Uh, if you try to open apps or anything that you had jailbroken, like SB settings, obviously it's not going to work. Um, if you had like a 5 icon uh, springboard, all of that is going to be shrunken down. It's going to go across multiple pages. So, you can see there. So, yeah. Um, your 4.0 apps may carry over into the 4.1 update, but they will not work, they'll crash, stuff like that. So, what I recommend doing first off, when you're backing up, or when you're on 4.0 and you're upgrading to 4.1, first back up, uh, you know, number one, back up your applications. If you have jailbroken apps or any Cydia packages, you can use a, uh, an application called Apt Backup or Package Backup that costs $5 for Package Backup. Uh, it's a really good program, though, and it'll save you lots of time, but in this case, we're just going to do it the original way. Um, I upgraded to 4.1 here, so after you've gone that route and upgraded to 4.1, and obviously you're going to lose all your jailbroken data and applications, you want to uh, install an application called LimeRain. You can head over to LimeRain, that is L-I-M-E-R-A-1-N.com, and the yeah, site looks like this. I was going to go into a screen cast here, but... I decided the site just looks too, or the site's layout is, or this is their blog right here, sorry. But the site is just as simple as this, as you can see here. And I can, sorry, I want to move that so you guys don't get a loop. Uh, and I can focus here, so you can see there, or I guess you can't really focus, but uh, you want to download for Windows or Mac. Obviously, it's that simple. Just download whatever you want you want, or whatever, you know, is for your version. In this case, mine is for Windows, so I, will, I downloaded it already for Windows. Um, and to be safe, uh, run it as administrator just because there is sometimes issues. There's a big issue that some people have get, gotten is they didn't run it as administrator. So in this case, we're just going to run it as administrator. And I'm going to open the containing folder it's in. Sorry for all the windows on my desktop. In this case, it is in this folder. I right click it again, run as administrator as you see there. So I'm going to go ahead and run it as administrator. We're going to get the UAC prompt. I'll hit yes. And it should still be recording. Hopefully it's still recording. Alright. And minimize. And as simple as this window right here. And I'll have to focus. Sorry for that. Up. Oh, perfect. Oh, I just had it. Where'd it go? Alright. Simple as that. Just going to say make it rain. Obviously your iPhone is going to want to be, you want to have it connected via the iPod charger. Uh, and just simply click again, run it as administrator just to be on the safe side. Make it rain, waiting for device, entering recovery, and I'm gonna go flip over to the device here just so you can see. Just have to hold the device, simple as that, just let it go, let it run. It's gonna go into its own, it's gonna run the DFU mode and everything on its own, and it's gonna say connect to iTunes. Uh, hold home and power at this point. It tells you to do this right here. Hold home and power. It's kind of, you can barely see it, so I'm gonna hold that. You go into DFU mode, release the power button. It says on the instructions. Sorry, I keep on flipping back and forth. It has instructions right here within the actual box here, so you're going to want to watch the dialog box. Basically, you're going into DFU mode. Sorry, I thought the application would do it automatically for you. So I'm releasing the power button. I'm just holding the home button now. And we should. In DFU mode, yep. You'll get a successful sign. If you mess up, you can exit the app, run it all over again. Uh, I believe it stands for a device. I'm not sure if it's a device. Uh, I forgot what the acronym stands for, but right now it is currently jailbroken. Simple as that. It says it is exploited. Your jailbreak is ready. Turn it on when done. Untethered. Thanks to Comex. Please go to LimeRain.com to donate support. If you want to do that, you can do that. Um, LimeRain is an awesome app that jailbreaks it, and I just have, I have the LimeRain icon here. Or you can use something called Green Poison, whatever your preference is. It's as simple as that, guys. Now, again, just to get some common issues out of the way. Some people had some issues with the Lime Rain icon not showing up. Hopefully, we won't have that issue in this thing. We'll see. Some people said that the Lime Rain icon doesn't show up on the uh, actual 
iPhone, you know, desktop. But um, that one may be an issue if you're downloading it from the Mac. They say the Windows version is the stablest right now, so even if you have a Mac like I do, I'd recommend just going ahead and using your Windows machine to uh, do jailbreak as of now. Um, two, run it as administrator, like I said, just so we get issues out of the way. Three, they say to restart the, the device if you have any issues, like Cydia doesn't show up after you install it, or if Lime Rain icon doesn't show up, do a hard reboot with the you know device. You can hold the power and home button. It'll do a hard recycle or restart of the iPhone. So we're just waiting for the iPhone here to turn on, and, and there we go. Uh, and the jailbreak should show. Now, hopefully I don't have that Lime Rain issue where people were having the issue of the icon not showing. You should have a Lime Rain, uh, Lime Rain icon. You'll be able to click it. You'll be able to install Cydia from there, and everything should be good. Again, common issues, I'll label them in the description box. You run it as administrator. That's one solution. Restart the device uh, just to check. Uh, sometimes that fixes the issue of the icon appearing. And again, just do it on Windows just because it's stabler uh, as of now with Lime Rain, that is. So it looks like the device is booting up here, and it should be... Uh, Syncing with your iTunes and everything, and then go ahead and slide to unlock. Let's flip, and there it is. The Lime Rain icon is appearing. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click it, and I can install Cydia from there. All right, so that's uh, it, guys. It's as easy as the jailbreak goes. Sorry to make it too professional here. I didn't know I didn't go into a screencast and everything, but it's really that simple. I mean, I don't really need to go into further detail other than what I've explained in the video. Uh, it only took about six minutes here to jailbreak. So, uh, you know, it doesn't take that long. Just make sure you back up beforehand, get everything done in that case. And, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and install Cydia and get uh, my phone back to the way it was on 4.0. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this jailbreak tutorial. Uh, and stay tuned for more videos.